Hello, today I'm going to help you to understand create React app directories and file. In the last video, we teach you how to create a React app. And today I'm going to explain each directory and files. So let's start and also I'm going to guide you to create your first React component. And don't forget, if you are new to my channel, to press subscribe and enable the bell to get all the chain and uh, new videos. And if also you like this video, press like and that will support me to continue uploading more work. So let's start in showing you how that, uh, which uh, each directory will do and uh, files. So I will here just directly I will open my terminal, uh, my terminal, and then in my terminal, as I just showed you last time, I will just navigate to the place where I'm uh, creating the React app, CD, uh, sites, uh, education, and then inside here, we'll do ls to show me all the directories inside this uh, location. So the, our React app is called my fairest React app. So just do cd, then my dash, then tab that will do auto, auto complete, and then that will take you inside the directory. Then do go code dot. So this will open VS code for this code for for this uh, React app. So as you see here, this is our React app. Uh, as last time we created, if you didn't see the last video, I will advise you to go back and see the previous video and I will leave the video link down of this video. So as you see, let's start by the the general here. If we start by the first at the bottom, this yarn.log. So when you're creating a React app, they will install some packages and to install these packages, they are using yarn uh, uh, tools. So to know more about Yarn, so this is a page where you can know more. So Yarn, it will help you to install node modules and same as using NPM. So NPM is coming automatically with uh, Node.js. When you're installing Node.js, you can use NPM install to install uh, node modules. Uh, what do I mean by node modules? If you see this uh, uh, disabled uh, or with a different color directory, these are node modules. These modules will be installed with the React app that it will uh, control your React app, so basically some packages that require to be installed. And a second file here, readme.md, this is just uh, a file that where you can add a documentation about your project. Uh, for example, your project name and how to use it. And also it will be look different when you visit uh, GitHub or for example, if you press this icon, and if you see here on the right side, how does it look like to a normal user? So when visiting your application in GitHub or where you are uploading this content, basically it will be look like this one. So it will be some description about your project or also if you would like to add some more images for your uh, demo or something, you can add it to this readme. This is what is readme doing basically. And if we go to bucket, bucket, sorry, bucket.json, this is where the most important place that we'll adding, uh, we'll add our packages or our dependencies. So basically this automatically will be created with the React app. But whenever we need to install new node uh, package, then you will do npm install and automatically that package, it will be added to this list, for example, dependencies here. And then this package will also start defining your project name and uh, your project version and also if it's in private or not and also this is a script that will uh, allow you to run your application for example this is start so we'll point to this location and then we'll run your application and build this will build your production uh, project on production environment will use only the essential code that we need so it's opposite to the test or development uh, environment where we have a lot of uh, content that will help us to develop and test but we don't need that on production environment. So that's why we have uh, two different scripts here, one for development and for testing, and one for production environment. And also, as you see, we have one for to run the test, just run your test, which you will do npm run test or yarn run test, and the same for build and start. And eject this uh, for more um, medium and advanced level. So basically, this will allow you to enable some hidden features so that like webpack uh, features so it will allow you to add your to add more customized to your webpack and adding more power uh, tools so to your project so for you as a, a beginner you don't need to uh, worry about this so basically you just care about the start script and build the script and test the script so just run the test for your project and build to create your production uh, build code 
and start for development and testing. And uh, ESLint config is just to add ESLint to your project and set a standard rule for your project how to use it. This is to be much standard uh, with the general code. And also browser list. This is a browser list that will be uh, compatible with, uh, for example, for production and for development. And if we move to the next one, .ignore. So .ignore is a file that you will add any file that you need to ignore not to be uh, tracked or not to be uh, tracked by Git and GitHub. So basically it's a Git uh, tool. So that's another tooling that will be used to track your process and your work. For example, if you would like to push this code to your GitHub account, and then in, there is one of these file or directories and you don't need to push that to your GitHub, then basically we'll add that file to this directory, dot ignore. For example, if you see here, it's slash node underscore modules. So usually we'll not push node modules to your GitHub account. So to avoid that, do not to do that accidentally, basically we'll do that to, uh, we'll create this file and then adding a slash node, node underscore modules. Basically, this will be automatically created when you do uh, npm uh, create react app. You don't need to create this file. So if we move to uh, next directory, which is a source element, this is an important place. So this uh, you start by creating various uh, component, uh, which we call node uh, app.js. And this is a component, just how does it look like, a very dummy uh, react component or functional component. And also with the uh, app.css, it's just a CSS file. And how to import it, you will import it in this way, how to import your CSS file. And the next one in here is just your component test, app.test.js. And this is very basic test to your component. And the next one says uh, index.css, the general CSS that will be added to your body. And any like standard CSS that you need to add it to your whole your projects, basically. And uh, index.js is the most important one. So this is where you will link your uh, JavaScript uh, code with the HTML. Uh, here we're, where we're using uh, something closer to DOM uh, JavaScript or vanilla JavaScript, but it's still mixed with the JavaScript, uh, with the React. So here we just importing React itself and React DOM. And uh, this is where we can interact with the DOM or with the HTML. And uh, basically we'll just do react.render, uh, react-dom.render, which is a function that's or a message coming with this React DOM. And then inside just we'll add our face will wrap our component that we need to render. React, it is a, a single page application. Single page application means it has only one page and then through this page, adding a React router to switch between different uh, screens or different uh, components. But it is one page, so that it allow you to make it more high performance, uh, more quality. And so as you see here, just wrapping that to single component, and then we accessing our uh, root element, which that is just uh, ID, uh, ID that added to HTML file. So we will use just JavaScript, uh, vanilla JavaScript, DOM dot get elements by ID, then we'll get grab that ID. I will show that to you just a few seconds, how it looks like on uh, HTML file. And uh, if you see here, then we're calling this uh, report with uh, vitals. This report with vitals is just importing this directly from here. And this one this, uh, is just set of uh, useful matrix that's aimed to capture the user experience for uh, a web third party. Basically, the web, uh, third parties are using this was to capture uh, a user experience and to get, get more insight about the, your application. And also, this is a setup test from its name, just to set up your test. And uh, also, this logo, this logo is just an image, basically, it's not. Uh, something that we need to talk more about it. And that's all about the source. And then the last directory we have it here is the public. The public has uh, two uh, important uh, files. The first one is HTML, index.html. This is uh, your project where they claim index.html. And this is where we adding the root element. This is the one just I talked about. It's just H uh, diff, HTML diff element. And we adding a root ID. And then we accessing that through our React uh, components. And here you can define your application name on the top here, uh, on your header, as the same as just normal HTML. And then also you can uh, change your, for example, project logo on, if you see here this icon, here you can change it to be 
your application icon when you visit your web application on the browser it will be displaying this icon and uh, that it for this index.html and uh, the second file import the second important file which is a manifest.json this manifest so basically when you create react app it will allow you to uh, install uh, this react app in your mobile screen basically if you are using mobile it will uh, give you additional feature to install this in your mobile screen or your mobile home screen so this manifest it will allow you to add the name for your uh, react app and also adding a picture or icon so when installing this application in your mobile uh, screen it will be with an icon so you can customize your icon and also to allow you to add a color or also maybe adding a different background. So this background, when you press the icon until the time loading, the content will show this background. So basically that is that all the important things. And what we have the rest here, uh, the rest inside this public is just uh, images. So uh, we're importing some images to use them inside this manifest and inside the HTML. Uh, index.html. So let's just move to next uh, step, the last one, to create our first React component. So to create our first React component, let's just come inside the source and then just add new uh, index, new file, for example, just call it home. And usually the component, the standard uh, or the convenient way that to, uh, to write your component name, it will be start with the uppercase letter. This home dot JSX is JavaScript uh, XML, the latest feature with the React 17. And inside here, we can just create our first React component. This is just a shortcut uh, or the quickest way to write a component. We don't need to import React in uh, React 17 or, or last version. Basically, how to know that if you are using React 17 or uh, older. So basically, you can come to bucket.json and then scroll here and looking for dependencies and uh, look for this React. As you see, it's 17.0.1. So we are using React 17 is supporting this type of extension. So we don't need to uh, import React. And here inside, we'll say just home component, we'll give it h1. Home component. And we're saving it, uh, creating a six syntax JavaScript function. And then inside, return whatever you need to return and then export your, your function. And after creating our function, just let's before uh, using this component, let's run our application locally. Uh, to run your application, you need to come to your directory or maybe using just the VS code, go to view, uh, tab here and then terminal to open the uh, internal terminal, which you hear down here, just do npm start or yar start. So that will take some second to open our application. So that's opening the application here on this new page. As you see, this is the Standard or this is the default uh, main page that will be created on React app. So we are going to change this one with our new component that we just created. So we can go to app.js uh, and let's import our new component. So import and then uh, it will be in same directory dot slash then it's called home. We don't need to say dot js because automatically it will be detected dot jsx. And then here will be the component name, home. And then how we can use this component after we import it, just come inside our project and before the header, let's just open less than and slash create that. That is how, that how we're using our component. That, that's how we call in our component. And that, now we can go to our application, automatically will be refreshed. If you see here, on the top, this is our home component. This is our new fairest component that ever we built. And I hope that was easy and useful. And that basically all the directories and files of create React app and how to create your fairest React app component. 
So again, if you are new, don't forget to press the subscribe button and enable the bell to get all the change and videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to press like and that will support me continue on adding more content. Thank you. Bye bye.